10 things you should delete from Facebook immediately. Facebook. It helps you connect and share with the people in your life. And it's free and always will be. It's hard to find a person who has never seen these lines in their life. Facebook has gone through a lot of transformation since its original launch in 2004 as a Harvard student network. Are you among those 2 billion people who belong to a $50 billion empire? However, posting too much information on Facebook might be unsafe for you and your family. That's why we've put together a list of 10 things you should delete from your Facebook immediately. It can even help you protect your house from burglary while you are away. Plus, there will be a fun bonus at the end. 10. Your phone number. If you are using Facebook for work and it helps you run your business, it's understandable you want to give it your phone number. Sometimes you just can't discuss every detail in writing. In all other cases, it might be a better idea not to give your phone number away to the world. After all, there are all kinds of people online, even on your big friends list. If you wouldn't give them your phone number personally, then why keep it on your page for everyone to take? 9. Friends who aren't your real friends. How many Facebook friends do you have? Over a thousand? 500? Hit the like button if you have less than 500 friends. We know, you can't help it that you are so popular. But let's be honest, how many of these people are your real friends? We all have that Susie with funny hair I met at the summer camp after a junior year, or Brad I was introduced to at that party who seemed funny, so I added him just in case on our friend list. Would you share any of your personal news with Susie or Brad if you met them in real life? Would you even remember their names? Most likely, no. Researchers believe a human can keep around 150 stable relationships. You don't have to cut your friends list to that number, of course, but it might be a good idea to virtually let go of people you would rather not share your news and pictures with. 8. The mobile app How long does your phone battery live for? 4 hours? 5? Then you must be one of those people who carry portable power banks or race from socket to socket in search of power. You must be wondering why and how a 100% charge can drop to a risky 20% in no time. You are not even actively using your phone. Tech World Zone was wondering too, so they ran an independent test, which revealed that the Facebook app on Android phones takes at least 20% of your battery life. It turns out Facebook depletes the battery in the background whenever your phone is on. Think of it. Do you need the Facebook app on your phone? Reality can be much more exciting. So, maybe it's a good idea to delete the mobile app so that you can come home to your Facebook full of updates and new likes. Oh, the excitement! Number 7. Personal information. Your favorite books, music, and so on. Everything Facebook knows about you is for advertising. While Facebook is free and always will be for you, it's understandable it has to get money from somewhere else. Like any successful website or media source, it invites advertisers to pay for promotion of their services. Every once in a while, you must feel surprised at how thoughtful Facebook is and how well it knows you. Did it offer you cheap tickets to Italy? No way! You always wanted to go! Did it offer you a remedy for thin hair? Wow, that's just what you were looking for! Well, Facebook is not psychic. You gave it all that information in your preferences, and it also offers you related products and services based on your own choices and online activity. You see whatever you Google on your Facebook suggestions. So, if you are tired of endless ads and find some of them irrelevant or annoying, just edit your preferences. It can be done easily. Go to www.facebook.com slash ads slash preferences slash edit. 6. Disable facial recognition Around 350 million photos are uploaded to Facebook every day. It means 4,000 photos appear on different users' pages and in news feeds every second. Many of them are of great value, and you'll want to keep them forever. Your best friend's wedding, your new house, or your little sister's first day at work. Some pictures, however, you'd rather take off the grid. Remember that Friday night you went out with your friends and it was lit? You probably don't, but Facebook still does. One of your friends decided it was a good idea to post drunk selfies, and Facebook recognized you in them. You forgot to remove the tags, and now your prospective employers and your mom, even more embarrassing, can see them. If you don't want that to happen, there is an easy solution. You can edit your Who Sees Tag Suggestions when photos that look like you are uploaded in timeline and tagging settings. That was easy, wasn't it? Keep watching the video to find out how Facebook can affect your relationships and why sharing, traveling to status updates can be dangerous. 
give us a thumbs up to show you care. Number five, your location on photo tags. While some people find Facebook nearby friends function handy, others are not so excited about being easy to track. The same is true for tags on photos. If you tag your location once you are at home, everyone will be able to see where you live. Pictures with geotags from bars give away your partying locations where you might not want to see your ex or obsessive stalker, for example. You don't want to give away your location, right? Well, just don't share it on photo tags. 4. Your credit card details Okay, this one is serious. And this is probably the most obvious item on the list. Just don't share your credit card details with anyone. If someone asks you to do it online, just don't. Always keep your credit card details to yourself for your financial safety. Number three, your relationship status. When another friend of yours shares his or her beautiful wedding or engagement pictures, you feel happy for them. And admit it, you also feel a bit jealous. It's especially true if you are single. And then someone comes into your life. Someone who does not mind being in your Facebook update, in a relationship, and you get social approval and 263 likes! Woohoo! And then something goes wrong and you break up. You change your status back to single. Your friends tell you how he or she was never good enough for you and you start posting status updates saying you feel happy, inspired, and better than ever. Sound a bit desperate, right? If you don't want all that to happen, keep your relationship status to yourself. Number two, your birthday. Maybe you like all the happy birthday, have a great one messages on your wall or cute stickers in your messenger. However, your true friends will remember your birthday anyway, without a Facebook reminder. And you might have to learn to live without messages from hundreds of people. Why? Your date of birth is actually very personal information and might be the puzzle piece someone might use to get access to your bank and other personal accounts. So it's a good idea to keep it private. Number one, your traveling to status. Going on well-deserved, long-awaited vacation? Congrats! We understand that you can't wait to share it with everyone. Traveling to Miami, Florida. California, here we come. Can't wait to get on top of the Eiffel Tower. Add a picture of your boarding pass. Foolproof, awesome brag post. Your friends will like it and get jealous. Before you post it, there is something we need to tell you. It may not only be your friends who are following your updates. In fact, burglars who rob houses are also more than happy to see travel updates. Moreover, some insurance companies reject claims coming from those who got burgled while on vacation. Why? Because when you post the travel to update, you inform everyone your house will be empty. So you basically help burglars who are planning to break into your house. If you allow your smartphone or tablet to track your location and check in at all the cool, faraway places you visit, the company can also refuse to pay your insurance money in case something breaks into your house. We hope you found these tips useful, so now you can enjoy your new Facebook experience. And, just like we promised, here is a bonus feature. You probably know Facebook is available in more than 70 languages, but did you know you can browse it upside down? Check your settings in the top right corner and pick English upside down as your Facebook language. It'll be fun, we promise. If you like this video and want to learn more on the topic, give us a thumbs up. We are going to share some secret Facebook features with you if this video gets 50,000 likes. Subscribe to our channel not to miss any updates. Stay on the bright side.